embracing that groundlessness, that feeling of, of not having an anchor, to try to become familiar with that and not just try to run away from it, but allow it, you know, practice of mindfulness of just breathing and being present with the feeling, that feeling maybe a fear or unanchored, ungroundedness that it is in fact our reality you know we we the ego keeps trying to create groundedness yes validity. yeah, yeah. But it's not the actual state it's not our true nature it's and not so it keeps getting disrupted and so i think you know become comfortable with that just that that you can embrace it and you don't have to run away it, it is maybe uncomfortable at first but it could become your friend it's a powerful, sacred, transformative place. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a constant fear inside of all of us. It's constant. It's we're going to die. You know, that's constant. And so um, you can't run backwards to get away from it, you know. Um, so I think a constant disruption in life is, is very sacred. I have been pushed over the cliff many times. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to be pushed over again because I'm going to die. So it's just going to keep going on and on. And I notice that when I am pushed over and I'm just imagine flying in the air with nothing to grip. And then when it's over, I'm still alive. You know, I survived it. And I could either kind of go back and look for where I was holding on to, or I can just keep going and see what else is 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 going to be uh, presented to my life. And usually I go on because you really can't usually go back. <laughs> you know, you can't jump back out, up on the cliff, right? When something's pushed you over. And so sometimes I say I was, I'm fortunate to have been pushed over so many times to in order to come to this place where I sit 